after I had my, my last daughter, I had to go to Korea when she was six months old. And when I came back on my mid tour at the six month mark, she was a year and she didn't know me. She wouldn't come to me, you know, and, and I understood, uh, but it was gut wrenching, <laughs> very gut wrenching. I mean, I've never been afraid to get on a plane and go anywhere knowing I was gonna get shot at, but that felt horrible. My husband and I both uh, were called to deploy to Bosnia. We were going to be going at the same time. I didn't realize at the time some of the impacts that were happening with my children, with uh, having to be worried, because they were old enough to know what we were doing, uh, you know, middle school age. My daughter uh, kind of became uh, withdrawn a lot. Uh, my son acted out a lot. Uh, very, both very intelligent kids, but just at that time, they didn't understand why we were never there. I began to see that um, some of those issues were like, wow, we are a dual military family. We are always gone. We are, somebody's always in harm's way. And that's stressful uh, for anybody, no matter the age. My son was diagnosed with ADD uh, around the seventh grade. And a lot of that came out in his treatment. Um, and then my daughter was diagnosed with uh, bipolar disorder in the 10th, 11th grade, and a lot of that came out then. So we did we did do a lot of counseling then, a lot of family counseling. And now they're 24 and 22, and they are doing well. They're both in college, and we have a wonderful relationship that I thought we would never get to.